What's up guys, thanks for coming back. This is another episode of Sunday Gun Day Quick Reviews, and this Sunday we're gonna be coming at you with this, the kel CP33. And before anyone says anything about me blowing my hand off, it is cleared, it is on safety, there's nothing in the gun. So this guy right here, we borrowed from Iraq Veteran 8888. Big thanks, buddy, appreciate you. So I got my can that I threw on here, because you know, you can let people borrow guns, but not cans. So this thing right here is super freaking awesome. This is the gun that he has dubbed the Redneck MP7, and for very good reasons. This thing's a ton of fun. Um, as soon as we've already been playing around with it a little bit today, had it out here, and just aiming out like this over the shoulder, you can very easily, pointing it like a pistol, not even using the brace, hit that hundo, no problem. As cameraman Jordo even saw, I was oh. I fired it upside down like this using the red dot and shot a spray paint can off of the post back there. Can you zoom in, Did you zoom in down there on that? Yeah, all the way down there from right here, upside down, just ba ding first try too. So we're gonna have tons of fun with this thing today. Gonna be using the brace. We're gonna be using obviously the can, um, being able to have some fun with this prototype grip. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, the fact that there's an RMR on here is, is, is kind of funny and awesome at the same time because this side is worth about as much as this entire gun brand new um the site's gonna be or the site's gonna be really fun because obviously we can reach out and really touch some things and we're gonna put all of this beautiful display that we've got out here one run out there for me all across this another run for Jordo, and then i'm going to run our course with the brace like this through all the uh, barricades and everything because it's so light and it's such a nice day I'm not gonna sweat. This is the first really nice weather we've had. So we're really gonna take advantage and do that. Um, we've got quite a few different types of ammo here to play with as well. And just for fun, I've got my, I've got some other stuff out here for display because it's my kel as well. And some of you guys may have seen on my Instagram or on my TikTok, a video that we've done with the McFadden speed loader that was very popular, went very viral. Um, so we've been interested in speed loaders ever since. So when I started having issues with this gun, um, it was always feeding issues, mag issues, every single time, always the same stuff. So another page that I follow, I noticed that they shoot this gun all of the time. Um, it's Autumn's Armory. You guys should go check it out. Her parents run her page, little girl, great content. Go check it out. So they suggested this. It's the American Speed Loaders CP33 speed loader for the CP33. And the way that it works, you literally just take it, put it in here like this, feed around in from the bottom and crunch it down. And you can just sit there and shove them in, crunch down, crunch down, crunch down. It's super fast. We're gonna do a little quick show when we get there in the video. Um, so we've got the Remington Thunderbolt high velocity we're gonna be running, the Aguila rifle competition match grade, um, the Aguila subsonic solid point, the CCI 22 clean suppressor rounds. These are plated rounds, so we might have a little bit of an issue with those. Um, I've been told they run really great, but my, my experiences with them so far aren't as good as what I've been told, but we'll get there. Um, and then the 22 mini mag, last to finish it off. And because of most of what we're gonna be doing today will be suppressed, we will not be worrying about hearing protection, only eye protection. So we're gonna get all this stuff splayed out on our range for you guys, and we'll be back in just a second. Yeah. All right, guys, we're coming back. We've got everything set up behind me. You pan down there, Jordan, to see all that good stuff. That's what we got in store for you guys. But first, I'm going to show off this speed loader a little bit, the American speed loaders. Let's see here. Get that in there. We've already got a few in there started. These are just the clean 22s. I'm only going to show you guys a couple of these because this is a very time consuming thing. It's very boring. No one wants to sit there and watch it. But this speed loader works really, really well. I've had a lot of people comment on my Instagram about how this gun runs properly when I'm filming with it. It didn't at first. Um, that was one of the things that I was really having an issue with. And then I found this speed loader and it works a whole lot better. So we're gonna put that one aside. And just because, let's use a couple of these Aguila 22 competition match grade rounds. And again, we're just gonna throw a couple in here just so you guys can see the effectiveness of the tool itself before we move on. So there's one, there's two. And they just feed right in. The only ones that have really had any issues at all are these clean 22s because they're a plated round, which definitely makes them run a whole lot better. 
but it does have a little bit of issues getting into the chamber sometimes. But as long as you use this speed loader and then manually load the first round into the gun itself, I haven't really had any issues. So we're gonna finish getting these loaded up and then we'll be right back with you. Hey guys, we got these mags loaded up. We're gonna send some rounds down range. So one of the things I have noticed about the CP33 is the best thing to do is to manually load the first round and then to go for the mag afterwards. For some weird reason with me, I've had the best luck that way. I don't know if you guys do, but give it a shot. This should be fun. Oh. Well, okay. Another CP33 issue, but also 22 issue. Anyone that's watching this has watched anything played, any type of shooting with 22s plinking, you know that you're gonna have some issues here and there. See if I can shoot that onion off of that Gatorade. There we go. Glass bottle. Gatorade. Oh. Mag down. That seems to be the thing. Drop the mag just like manually reloading it. Just needs a little bit extra oomph. This might also have a little bit something to do with the big Mondo 45 can that I'm running on it, but who knows. Oh, baby. All right, let's go for some of these eggs. Oh, a nice pop on the egg. There we go. Another stoppage. Actually, looks like it cheated right that time. Nope. Let's see. Let's, start, let's reach out a little bit now. Oh. 30. And 50. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. This will be, this will be interesting. Let's see if I can get this. All right. Oh, I got it. All right, I wasn't, I was kind of, I was wondering if I was risking it there on camera, putting myself on spot, but hey, we got it, cool. All right, let's just go ahead and drop that mag, and let's run these Aguila competition match grade rounds. Oh, you see how easy it went in there too? All right, let's see what happens. No, come on. Tell you what, Jordan, I hope that it feeds better for you. I do too, man. Yeah. I think it's also because it's dirty. We were playing with it a little bit pretty hard earlier. All right. One more time. Try to get some range out of it this time. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah. Tell you what, this is definitely more issues than we were having with it earlier. Not what we want to have when we're on camera, but that hundo shot on the first shot still shows how good of a, it really is a nice piece. It's just, it gets super dirty, super easy. Running 22 suppressed, you're always going to have issues, but you really can't get mad at it. Get something set up for you. Let me pass this thing on. Yeah, I think we're going to have to give it a real good thorough cleaning again before you have your run. We're going to load this thing back up, get some more stuff set up, and then Jordan's going to give you his take on it. All right, guys, we got this thing cleaned up. Hopefully it goes a little bit smoother than the last one, but we got some Remington Thunderbolts right Oh. Hang on, actually. I'm not shooting that first round. Good thing I dented in there. Yeah, it's from the speed loader pushing it in a little too It'll hard. It'll be all right. But go ahead and try these Remington Thunderbolts first. Yeah, get that awkward yeah. manual load manual in. Manually load the first one every time. All right. Better luck so far. I get my eggs though. 
You flip that one. That there you go. There you go. There it is. Okay. Okay, we'll turn. That'll be enough for those guys. Leave a few targets out there. All right, next ones we're going to try, guys, is the CCI Mini Mags. I have a feeling those are going to run pretty well. I'm feeling they will, too. I should have kept one of each of these out before we did this, but eh, all right. You live and you learn. Live and learn, man. But yeah, no feeding issues thus far. Yeah, for you, you had so much better luck than I did. I think it's because we cleaned it. Yeah, man. probably. You're going to have to just keep this thing immaculate. Mm hmm that is what I was told by the owner. Nice. Tearing them up. Get some range. Yeah, let me take. Uh oh. Ooh. First feeding issue with the CCIs? First issue. Is it not coming out of the mag or is no, it just. I okay. Because I noticed some of them sticking down on the bottom of the mag. Hey. Went right in. Okay. Nice. Nice. Right. There you go. There's the center mass. Got a couple eggs. Oh. Right. There you go. Finally, well, there we go. Humpty Dumpty, he's probably got me beat on the draw. <laughs> I'm a sweet gun, just yeah, keep it clean. Seems like all the ammo I was shooting ran through really well. Yeah, I'm gonna load up with the same exact ammo and then set some more Give stuff out. Yeah, exactly. I like it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, let's see if we can get here. How do we get it? Oh, that was so. Oh, oh, so close. Let's see. Got another one. Try to. Oh, got it. Got it that time. Nice. All right, guys, we're coming back to you. We've got something a little different set up. We got these Mountain Dew cans, and I got some eggs sat on top of them, and they sat just perfectly on top. I shook up the cans a couple minutes ago. Hopefully, they're still good. Um, I'm running the same rounds that Jordan was using before. Hopefully I have the same results that he did and this thing functions properly for me because if it does, I've got the spare mag. Once I hit this stuff up here, I'm just gonna run on through the course because I want to really bad. So let's just have at it. Oh, oh, I missed the egg, but I got the can. That was the first one. That wasn't too bad at all. So, seems to be that the high velocities run much better. Let's see here. That's the CCI Mini Mag. Let's get to it. One miss. I'll take that one miss. <laughs> But this thing is a ton of fun. I really wish that I had some more mags. Um, I plan on getting one of these eventually. So when I do, I'm gonna have a brace available for it almost immediately. I won't have as good of an optic available, unfortunately, but we will get it set up just about just like this. And I'm gonna get my hands on some extra mags so I can run with about four of them or so. 
because this thing's a ton of fun. But yeah, CP33, as long as you keep it lubed, keep it clean, and use that speed loader, um, it runs a whole lot better. So CP33, hope you guys enjoyed it.